All right, guys, welcome back to the farm. And today I'm gonna have to do some work on my Mass Ferguson Model 25 hay rake. Uh, if you recall in the video, I guess it's uh, I guess it was last last winter when I replaced the fountain I used gearbox to go in here, and I ain't really had no issues with gearbox. But what I have had issues with are bearings in these roller bars, and I'll show you. This is a a good bearing here you can't you can't move it and then you got this bearing that's a bad bearing that's a good bearing I can't move it that's a bad bearing now what I had happen with I had a bearing come apart on me uh, a few months ago when I well I guess back in May which has been a couple months ago. One of the bearings came out, came apart. Let's see this one tore out. And this was the fix. I didn't have the correct bearing, so but I did have a, a roller bearing that would fit, though not really good. And so I ended up having to shim it, and it's tight. I mean, it'll probably work, but I've got four bearings. So I'm gonna play, replace two on each side. This is one of them, and then that's one of them. And then, well, actually, I may go ahead and replace this one and just let this one ride for a while, because it's tight. And this one is good and tight, so that one's okay. So the, I think the ones that uh, right now are the two in the center here, this one and this one. So if we follow them back, I believe we're going to find that those are the ones that have the bad bearings on this end. You can see this one just about shot. All right, so here is the assembly. It comes with a roller bearing and another little bearing here. And a seal in between and then of course the nut with the hex head uh, it don't come with the nut it comes with the bolt with a hex head end on it so we'll have to find a allen wrench to fit that it looks like three eighths I don't think I got one out here All right, so I found a allen wrench that would fit I think that's a three eighths wrench yeah. Don't have any writing on, but up. it looks like a three eighths, like I used to take gym brake calipers off with. Now, these bearings are pretty standard for any roller bar rake. Uh, this is actually a New Holland part, and uh, I bought them off of eBay. Bought four of them, should have went ahead and got eight of them, but or at least five of them or six. The nut is an inch and sixteenth. So I've already sprayed it with some rust penetrant and I'm gonna grab my Allen wrench and we'll try to get it where it will stay against the bar. This one's a little bit dirty, rusty. May have to, may have to beat this thing in. Let me set you up on the tripod. this up against the bar where it, it can't move. Got to reuse these nuts. I think these are lock nuts. I think they're lock nuts. I can't see from the damn hand. through this nut. Then we're going to take this uh, bearing holder off. 
place to burn. lifts right off this nut bolt rather should let's lay it down here out of the way and that's going to hold our thing steady for us and as you can see there ain't much of that old bearing left in there let's see let's zoom in the, the little bearing on the end is completely gone and uh, the roller bearing is still there, but the, this bearing here is no longer there. So now we've got to unbolt this, and it looks like a uh, half inch. I doubt this electrical supportless impact to break these loose. It's a 9 16. This thing ain't much on the torque, but it'll get them broke loose, it'll spin them out. That's a good thing. The rollers come out of the other bearing that went out on me. And that's what's holding it in, basically. So we'll compare them. They're identical. This is, a, like I say, it fits New Holland roller bar rakes. Also, this is a, comes pre loop see the blue grease in there. And basically this is bolt-in, should be a bolt-in deal.
of them, I can't get to the third one. difference in New Holland and the uh, Massey. Well, this uh, still got a lot of play in it, but it may be wore out in there, I don't know. But I know it's a good bearing, so we, uh, we should be good on that one. Let's do the, the next one. I'm not going to film it, but that's how you do it. Got to get that wrench, hold that, unscrew it, take it off, or unbolt it, and take it off. And like you've seen, it's easier to go ahead and put this in, the, the stud in the bar, and then line it up, put your bolts in. Uh, I don't know, maybe that'll last. But it's funny that the got these, I don't hardly got any kind of movement to them. And that one, I mean, that, I mean you can also tell it's wore out. So, this will be the next one, and then I got two more on that end. So I also blew out my tire, and this tire had a tube in it, so the tube blown. So, to get me by, you remember I, I bought these wheels and tires a while back. As you can see, they don't quite uh, fit. So what I got to do is I got to take the tire off this rim and get a tube and put the tire in the tube on my old rim. But uh, it does work. It just uh, it just ain't right. As, uh, you can see, it needed some bearings and all that needed to be welded and everything. And I just never got around to doing it. And then I needed it. And so you gotta do what you gotta do when you need it. I had a, about half my fill rate when the bearing went out. I didn't even know the tire had blown until the bearing went out and I stopped it. Because the bar locked my rake up when it fell off. And I looked at that tire and it had blown. So what can you do? That, that rim beat up, rusty. So it ain't gonna, it ain't never gonna hold no air without a tube. We gotta get a tube for it. I'll try to get one tomorrow. And until then, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.